They haven't been seen in these parts in decades. River otters vanished years ago from the state, and while there are many theories about what caused that, the important thing to note is they're back. River otters, the true comedians of the wild. Give them any slippery surface and they will find a way to body surf on it. Or in the case of this just released river otter at Rio Taos Pueblo, slip, slide, slither, and roll. River otters can adapt to just about any climate as long as they are near water, which provides them with a constant easy fish meal to power their ever ready engine. The river otter has incredible energy, so it needs constant fuel. A river otter is a member of the weasel family, and it's a semi aquatic mammal. That means that it spends part of its life in and around water. It uses water as, as for its daily life requirements. They're a very social animal uh, amongst their own kind and however they are a carnivore and they do look very cute and cuddly and have a very fun loving demeanor it seems as you watch them however they're they are an aggressive carnivore and, and certainly are a hunter. River otters are nocturnal however you can see them any time during the day that is if this reintroduction of the river otter to the waterways of New Mexico is successful. There was no evidence that, that otters had survived in New Mexico, so we began a study to um, look at various river systems in the state to determine uh, what areas might be suitable for a reintroduction effort. The last time river otters were seen on these river banks was over a half century ago in the 1950s. They were presumably poisoned by pollution or trapped out of existence in New Mexico. While the river otter is renowned for its clownish behavior, they're also prized for their thick, shiny, durable fur pelts. This is what keeps them warm and dry. It's also what drove them to extinction in some parts. However, they are far from extinct extinct in Washington state. In fact, they've got so many they're considered a nuisance. Their nuisance is our gain. In discussions with wildlife services, we, we discovered that um, uh, they had the opportunity to provide animals that would otherwise be trapped and killed to remove them from the um, problem areas. Now the hard part, getting the river otters packed up and safely moved to New Mexico, over a thousand miles away. It was December and the river otters were brought by vehicle, a 30-hour journey through snowstorms and blizzards. They had to be kept at very cold temperatures in order to uh, reduce the stress, so uh, basically the interior of the plane or the vehicle was kept at below 50 degrees and um, the driver and the passengers basically you had to avoid talking the whole time. Uh, again, this was a, all designed to reduce the stress of the animals who were stuck in very small cages. Uh, so as you can imagine, you know, driving 30 plus hours through uh, bad weather conditions with the AC on and uh, the inability to actually talk during that whole drive was quite a challenge to the folks that were involved. There was a, a possibility that these otters would have been, would have been killed in Washington. Um, they were uh, trapped in places where people didn't want them to be. And so it was, we were pleased to have the opportunity to provide a, a new home for them here. And we definitely wanted them. All the river otters made it here healthy and ready to begin, making New Mexico waterways their new home. When the animals arrived, they were moved into otter pods so they could settle down and settle into their new surroundings. So we basically went up to Red River Hatchery and, uh, and got some trout, which we uh, used to keep the animals fed for two or three days. And the river otter's voracious appetite was a concern among anglers, who worried the reintroduction of the river otter might hurt the native trout population. Jim Stewart from New Mexico Game and Fish says the otters generally choose bigger, slower fish. So the trout are actually would be a smaller component of the diet and the carp and white suckers are likely going to be the main component of the diet uh, for any otters that are released in the Rio Grande. The fish that's easiest to catch is, is the otter's favorite fish. The otters will also eat frogs, snakes, creek chubs, dace, carp, northern pike, channel cat, plus there are abundant non-native crawfish, an otter delicacy. We put 10 animals out on the ground in three different releases, all at uh, Taos Pueblo. Hopefully by the end of uh, 
2009 or 2010, we'll have about 30 animals released. And there are river otters being released in the Gila Basin. So on your next wilderness pilgrimage, don't be surprised to see this clown prince putting on a show along the riverbank. And hopefully you'll see baby river otters in tow, which will signal the return of the river otter to New Mexico. River otters are very important to the people of Taos Pueblo and their efforts to bring that species back is just part of the ecosystem and, and that is their goal is to bring a missing piece back to the landscape. Lots of folks deserve credit for their conservation efforts in this project. Along with New Mexico Department of Game and Fish includes Taos Pueblo, the New Mexico River Otter Working Group, and USDA Wildlife Services plus countless volunteers.